Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So going back to the Listerman, uh, which we had a few weeks ago, this is Brass Monkey. Um, that funky monkey. Probably not the same Brass Monkey that uh, the Beastie Boys are talking about, but anyway, this is supposed to be a phenomenal IPA from them. Uh, some friends that we've seen check it in said it was one of the best IPAs they've had there. 7.2% uh, has Galaxy, Nelson Savant, and Mosaic. Ooh. Or is it Motuika? I can't Mosaic, remember. yeah. Mosaic, yeah. okay. I should have read beforehand. Anyway, All I right. wasn't prepared. Um, so this is Listerman. Uh, Listerman also does the triple digit if yeah. it's you know above 1.1 starting um, original uh, gravity, and they're out of Cincinnati. Yep. So check them out. Yeah. Haze, bro. It is haze. Yeah, it has that thick look to it too. As you look down in there, almost gelatinous white head. Oh, so it's at least a quarter point. At least out. a quarter point. That's what the nose. I yeah. smell some overripe fruit to start yeah, out. Yeah, I get like a mix of that big herbal onion garlic okay. powder and that pineapple orange sweetness. That smells amazing. I get more of the herbal that that overpowers the the juicy fruits for me. Yeah, I'm getting more galaxy the more yeah. sips like or the more nose I get on it. So uh, yeah, it's it's more galaxy, yeah. which I love. So. Love. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is courtesy of Sammy. Oh, thanks. Who is stout daddy, but is giving us IPA, so we'll forgive him. <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet. We have <laughs> it smells good. Oh, that's good. It's got a really good mouthfeel too. Yeah. It's got some raspiness on the tongue. Um, mm. Ooh, I'm getting mostly galaxy, which yeah, I, I love. Yeah, it's creamy, great temperature. It's very creamy. Big hit of that big herbal onion garlic powder. I mean, there's some hints of some fruit behind that. The only thing that 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 that's missing for me on this is that finish on the back. Okay. So I'm getting this big galaxy hop kick, and then it kind of goes watery it's on the back off end. Quickly. It's falling off okay. on me. Like I like that just to coat all the way back and just be that thick, you know, syrupy. Mm. Tongue feel all the way down. It just kind of falls off a little bit. Yeah, I have thing. to admit, I didn't notice that until you said it, but it, it does. It does fall off quickly. Um, so you just have to keep going. But I, I yeah. got to tell you, how much galaxy is in that? Mm -hmm. um, and I am getting some overripe tropical fruit yeah, it's um, there, or some sweet tropical fruit. Um, it's there, but I think the galaxy is kind of the predominant hot for this one. Yeah, I mean, it definitely masks mosaic. I, I mean, it doesn't, I think yeah. mosaic, that, those those soft peachy notes are basically mm -hmm. covered up. Um, it's a really good, like I said, it's a really good punch on the front of the tongue. It did, and then it's just, like I said, the only knock on it is that finish on the back. Yeah, it does kind of fade rather quickly. But, I mean, it's very easy drinking. It's very delicious. I mean, well done. 7.2% going down very easy. I'm kind of 425, 425 plus. It's in that range for me. I think to get 4.5, it would have to have something on that back end. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to go 425 plus. Okay. Um, I'm at 425. Um, I thought about 433, but then I'm rating it the same as Julius. And this is not on the same level as Julius. So maybe I either. But by the end of Julius, one. you were like 4 I, I or 5. It, it, it was, got better. And it better. got much better as I was drinking it. That really was 4 or 5. Um, yeah. So yeah, 425, 433. Yeah, uh, this, this is solid. Is, this is very tasty. Good. They did a really well, really good job. It doesn't it's, disappoint. I mean, no. he said it was you know their best IPA. I've not had their IPA. No, I haven't either. Mostly. We've had mostly so. like. Stouts and then the brown ales, brown like the yeah. chacao mm -hmm. and stuff, mm -hmm. and those are really good. The yeah. barley wine, um, mm -hmm. coffee, bar coffee, barley wine, lavish life. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, and the Irish um, cream, uh, oh, stuff, yeah. which was amazing. Anyway, anyway. Right, <laughs> back, back to this beer. <laughs> so no, no, they do really good stuff. Again, I, I'm not trying to knock this beer as being bad. I just mm -hmm. say this was the only knock on it was that that back finish, but solid one from uh, from Listerman. This says on the top, 10th anniversary, September 7th through 8th. Uh, so I guess it was brewed for that, uh, which was about, um, what, six weeks so, ago, maybe? So it, so no, September. I'm getting my months mixed up. You I keep did going in October. October. I did go in October. I'm in it's, October, it's mentally. It's one pimp, pumpkin beer is what he wants. That's what he wants. Um, so I yeah, want like years. a really solid, like, barrel-aged pumpkin barley wine, if anyone does that. I'm sure someone does it. I just never had one. I just think those tastes would go together perfect. Anyway, back that to would be game. awesome. So just a couple weeks ago, uh, very good. Um, well done, 425 plus for me, 425 for you. Thanks, Sammy, really appreciate Thanks, Sammy. this one. Anything else? Mm -mm. As always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have, thanks.